Hello guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Divan Chakravarty, and you're watching Tech University. Today, I'll be talking about a brilliant data science course that is coming your way from TUM Germany. So, in this video, I'll be talking about the program overview, program curriculum, structure, fee structure, scholarships, how to apply, application requirements, everything about this course. So, stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this course, and do share this video with your friends who are looking out for data science courses. And yes, don't forget to subscribe the channel to know about every similar courses alike. So if we talk about this university, this goes by the name of Technical University of Munich, which is situated in Germany. And if we speak about the university profile, they've got a world rank of 50. So this is one of the top most universities in the world that we are talking about. The status is public as most of the universities you will find in Germany. Research output is very high as usual. Student to faculty ratio is 5 is to 1. So look at that, you know, for every five students, there is a faculty and international students are already above 11,000. The size is Excel. They have got beautiful and huge campuses across Munich. Multiple campuses are there and the total faculties are more than 6,000 already. And this course is offered by the Department of Mathematics. So if we talk about the rankings by subject uh, for the Department of Mathematics, they've got a world rank of 56 and the graduate employability ranking is 70. So once you graduate out of this course, you will be working for top notch German institutes and companies which are known for their worldwide excellence. So that was about the university profile. Now let's just circle back to what the course is. This course goes by the name of Mathematics and Data Science. And the degree you will be getting is Master of Science or the MSc degree. So it's a two-year full-time course and the credits are 120. And the main location is Garching. Remember I told you about there are multiple campuses of TUM. So Garching is one such location and you will be studying there. And uh, the student fees you have to pay is 144 euros per semester. I'll be touching more on the cost explicitly. So hold on to that part. And the start of the program can be in two different semesters. So it's winter and summer semester. Both you can choose to go for studies, like as was in the case of Mannheim Master Data Science. And the English is the main language of this particular course. So what does this program cover? This is a two-year complete program and you need to have a bachelor's degree in mathematics or a bachelor's degree in computer science with minor in mathematics. So there is a strong sense of mathematics that you need to have in your bachelor's degree. And it would be good that if you have a BTEC in computer science, surely you will have studied at least three to four semester of mathematics and that would work. Otherwise, even a BSc mathematics degree would work because they also entertain three year degrees as well. What if I want to apply? So we will explore how to apply. But before it's important that what are the documents that we need to submit into that? So let's just see. Uh, we have to submit an application for admission, which has to be submitted online, of course. And the degree certificate uh, is required. Transcript of records is required, basically your mark sheets. And proof of English language proficiency is required here, everyone. And uh, you need to write an essay. You need to write a motivation letter and complete and current resume. Make sure your resume is currently up to date and you need a passport. I mean, they will be asking you to upload a copy of your passport and preliminary documentation. So there are some courses that require preliminary documentation. We will explore more what on, on we'll explore more on what a preliminary documentation is in a while. So there are a lot of in a whiles uh, in this video. This video could be a little complex. So please be here with me. And uh, what applications deadlines do I need to meet? Uh, so for the winter semester, it starts uh, from 1st of January and runs on till 31st of May. And for every year, this this is the same. So there is no uh, changing date for every year. And as for the summer semester, the applications open from 1st of September and runs until 30th of November. So right now uh, you can go apply for this course because 30th November is the last date. And if you are willing to go for this course, you can go apply right away. Now, let's just talk about the courses which are uh, available in this particular uh, program. So you need to write a master's thesis, which corresponds to 30 credits. And there are some required modules that you have to complete. Here is the list of required modules. And uh, you can see here the foundations in data engineering, foundations of data analysis and advanced seminar in data science. There is a practical experience part. There is B elective modules in which you have to complete 53 credit courses. So uh, there are a exhaustive list of uh, multiple credit courses. So here is B1, B2 and B3 and B1.2 and B2.2. They have segregated the courses in such a way. 
so you can have the have a look at this so data analysis data analytics data engineering is available in b1.1 1.2.1 and 3 and then b1.2 and 2.2 consist of some core modules in data analysis core modules in machine learning and special topics in data analytics and there are some mathematics modules that you can of course explore uh, like the elective modules of the master's program in mathematics you can go have a look at it and finally there is c support electives so you have to complete six credit out of it and the number of courses are c1 general basics or c2 uh, social and political aspects of the data science so these are the broad categories in this there will be courses and you can go out for that courses so this was about the curriculum for the 21-22 year if you talk about the international students so this is the international students page and uh, you can explore a lot of details out in here like uh, advising suppose you are from uh, another country and you are looking for student advising who are already in TUM student life student orientation welcome events interactive campus tours buddy program so there are a lot of things that you can explore I will not explain this in this video you can explore it yourself I will pass this link into the video description if you talk about uh, the India specific requirements for the degrees you need to have a three or four year degree as I told in mathematics or computer science with minor in mathematics and also there is a requirement that you submit a GRE score or a GATE score. So people who have been preparing for GATE, it's a good opportunity for you guys because German institutes explicitly welcome people with exceptional GATE scores. So you can go out and apply with a GATE score as well. Otherwise, you can also give a GRE score. So uh, the people who are belonging from Bangladesh, China, India, Iran or Pakistan. So for that, you need to have a GRE score of quantitative reasoning of 157 and an analytical writing score of 3.5 so this is the requirement that they have if you talk about uh, another things that are required uh, to submit as per the indian requirements you need to have a preliminary documentation check via uni assist so let's just talk about what it is so this is something you have to get done before you apply so you have to apply to the university website directly apart from that you need to get your documents verified from a uni assist so uni assist is something which lets you know that if there is any anomaly discrepancy in your application so they will verify your documents on your behalf and then you can go apply to the main website so this is something you have to do this is a mandatory for people who are applying from india how do i apply for preliminary documentation so they have given a link like uni assist web portal is already there what you have to do is to in that you will be asked to choose the university and then the course so you don't have to choose any specific course first of all choose the technical university of munich and then the option all degree courses so you don't have to select one course you have to select all degree courses and then you can just get your documents reviewed by the uni assist any time of the year so it's not like you have to go just before the application so suppose you get your documents reviewed today you will get to hear from them maybe two to four weeks and then you can go apply to the university of uh, munich and what documents do i need to submit to the uni assist so for the master's degree program you have to submit a certified copy of your degree certificate if you have already and a certified copy of your transcripts and a certified translation so suppose you are belonging from any other country where english is not the primary language and the transcript is in some other language so you have to provide a translation as well so these are the documents that they will be verifying and they will be converting it for you in the german grading system which follows the bavarian scoring system and finally uh, there is a cost associated with it so uh, there is a 75 euro cost that is associated with this particular uh, verification check and if we convert that 75 euro to indian rupees it would correspond to around 6500 inr so this is the cost that you have to bear but there is something more coming up your way so you won't feel pressurized much let's just look at the language requirements so for language requirements you need to submit a valid english score irrespective of wherever you have studied so the accepted scores are TOEFL of course so in ibt you need to score an 88 out of 120 or either you give ielts so they are asking for 6.5 there are some other cambridge tests as well they accept uh, cae and cpe test as well and pearson test as well so you need to have a score of 65 for the pearson test that was about the india specific requirements now you have made up your mind how to apply online so tum online is the site on where you have to apply so start of the course first of all you need to select the course you would like to apply to so this will be the kind of page that will come across so start of the course would be summer semester or winter semester as you like there would be a drop down 
and then you continue select your degree program what degree you have to go for suppose the type of studies you have to go for master's program intended degree would be msc and the degree program would be mathematics and data science and uh, then you have to enter your personal data personal data means your first name last name date of birth gender of course these are the generic personal details that you have to fill in finally you have to provide the background academic background or master's suppose you have you have to provide the academic background and uh, in this you have to give the country of educational institution where you have studied uh, place of the university university name degree and all these things that you have to give and uh, then finally you have to fill in the entrance qualification for master's program so here they follow a 20 minute assessment kind of thing so you have to undergo that assessment test so this is where you will have to uh, appear for a test it will be a kind of an interview that's it and finally you will have to upload the documents and the language skills so once the application is completed you have to upload all the documents that were asked i told you and the language skills of course the english language test that you have to upload so finally you have to send the application initially this is not the application that has been sent but uh, you have to review the data and finally once reviewed you have to submit and click the send button once sent uh, you cannot cancel at this point so the application will be sent to tum at that case you can view the status and the application for the admissions and what's next they will review your application and if you are rejected they will get you a rejection rejection email otherwise you will receive an email stating that you have been invited for a assessment round and then you will have to appear for the assessment and then based on that they will be offering you the admission what about the aptitude test so while they review your application they go through each and every student so this is the aptitude assessment so for the master's program they have explicitly given the aptitude assessment so it, according to them it is a two step procedure in the initial stages the grades you obtain from your bachelor's program as well as your written documents so they have a score associated with each and everything that you upload it's like a point based system and it depend depending on the amount of points accumulated the applicants are either immediately um, admitted rejected or invited to a 20 minutes admission interview so it depends on that so not every student gets the interview invite so suppose you have exceptional profile you have exceeded the point limit that they have set so there might be chances that you won't be asked to uh, give an interview you will be immediately admitted otherwise you can have a rejected state or a 20 minute admission interview Connected by the Department of Mathematics, and in the second stage, uh, the interview will happen. So you will be appearing for a twenty-minute interview with the uh, admissions committee, and uh, that will be purely based on what you want to pursue and all these things. Not much technical because twenty minutes they can't ask much technical details. This is on my personal note, not from any experience though. So that was all about the course, and what about the fees? The main thing. So good thing is there is no fees. there is no fees tuition fees there is no fees tum doesn't ask for tuition fees irrespective of you are from germany eu eea switzerland or any international student rather they don't ask for a tuition fees all they ask for is a semester fees alike from the german students or the international students and that would be 144.4 euros for the students in munich garching and weihen stefan 144.4 euros per semester if we multiplied by 4 for four semester that would correspond to 577 euros and if we convert it into indian rupees that would be around 50350 inr so all you have to pay for four semester two years of study is 50350 inr that's it and apart from that you will be giving 6500 indian rupees for the uni assist fees that you have to have the document verification thing so all in all you will hardly be spending 57000 on your study on your masters in germany so you go apply for this particular course even if you are still thinking that oh what if there was any scholarship that would have been cherry on top got it there is a scholarship in fact many scholarships so uh, there is a scholarship called scholarship deutschland stipendium so who can apply is currently enrolled undergraduate and graduates with a university entrance certificate from germany or abroad so in this there are arrangements to give you 300 euros per month there is another mdsi master scholarship so this is specifically for this and another data science course so in this you will be getting 1000 euro per month for a maximum of 12 months and scholarship for international students this you can look out for 
so one time financial aid of 500 euros to 10500 euros per semester so this is you can get and scholarship options for stay abroad leonard lawrence foundation loshe scholarship graduation scholarship awarded by tum so these are the scholarship there are a lot of scholarships you know you can have a look at it i will pass this link as well into the description finally this is also a page that you can look out for this is living in munich you can go check it out i mean finding accommodation financial aid everything how to get started discover munich campus everything is there so you can go have a look at it uh, university life your career in germany relocation services so everything is available in this website so i'll pass this link to so this was about this brilliant course with no fees at all i hope you like this video i hope you like this course you will go apply for it and if you like the video please like this video and subscribe the channel to know about more such courses i'll keep coming up with some more pocket friendly courses from the eu region i have just started on the eu region and will continue to do so until next video au revoir